Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Oh, can we just, let's run that back real quick. It has been such a long time since I've just sat in front of the camera and like coming to YouTube. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's been doing well. Let me tell you, when I tell you I feel like the year should have ended three months ago. I am tired. For anyone who is just joining, who has never seen me before, what is up? It's your girl Safai Kelly here with you today. For all of my returning subscribers, I love you. Thank you so much for just putting up with me. We're just gonna take it easy today, really. We're gonna take it easy. I just wanted to do something low-key. I know the hair is not really low-key, but like the look I wanted to do is just like a low-key glam. You know, I just want to sit back, talk to you guys, catch you guys like life update. It's a life update video. So before we dive into all of like the updates and everything, this hair though, can we just like appreciate the hair? She's synthetic. This is from INH, which is insert name here. And I have to say like this ginger color is giving me all of the fall vibes. I'm actually, I've never actually worn a color like this before. So for makeup today, it's gonna be super neutral because it's just gonna be super neutral. So let's just go back to where I left things, right? My last upload was two months ago, but actually I filmed that a month before I released it because I was just so busy and I forgot. So three months ago is really when things just really picked up and I just kind of had to like let go of YouTube for a second. So many things happened. I moved, I went to Chicago to do something exciting. I went to LA to do something exciting, which I'm all gonna share with you. But before I dive into all of the juicy details, I'm gonna do one eye off camera and I will be right back. All right, so I did one eye off camera and like I said before, I'm trying to keep this so low key. Like I'm just trying to vibe out, just trying to chill. Um, so the palette that I'm using today, I've actually never used it before. I got it recently in PR and this is from Milani. This is the Ungilded Most Loved Mattes. And when I tell you that this is like the perfect palette of mattes, like you're getting a little bit of everything in here. And I love, 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 love these shades. Good job, Milani. Okie dokie. So I'm dipping into the shade Cinnamon Spice and don't raise in your voice. I'm just going to sweep this into my crease region. Okay, so where was I? We were talking about three months ago when I kind of like fell off of YouTube. Was it July? Yeah. So in July, I got a really great opportunity. I actually got flown out to Chicago to be the creative director for... Ulta Beauty, their um, quarter three campaign. Ulta Beauty basically hired me to do the creative direction for their quarter three campaign. And when I tell you, like, I have never done that before. Like to receive that type of opportunity, I was like on cloud nine through the roof. Because it's something that I've never done before, I was trying to meet and surpass certain expectations. I didn't really truly know everything that it was gonna entail. So I was doing a lot. I was like working almost like two full-time jobs, like doing Safai 305 and then also working with Ulta Beauty to get everything together basically. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna be taking the shade Coco Bean. Not everyone may know what a creative director is, but basically the role that I played was that I kind of made the concepts for all the looks, right? So I kind of made the concepts for all the looks and with that being said, they wanted to do three strong videos and be able to cut down the three videos and use them for multiple different reasons whether we do like a mascara video but we want to cut down for like hacks and for tips and for like the three most loved mascaras like I had to make sure that from the mother video that we could chop down and make it into all of these other videos so that was something that I can do for myself when I film like a YouTube video I'm also going to be doing maybe a TikTok and an IG reel like multi-purposing your content is so important and I love that Ulta Beauty is thinking like that. Brilliant. Now I'm taking Cocoa Bean to add some depth and definition to this crease. So I want to say that was a really great opportunity and I love working with Ulta Beauty. That was just like something I never even thought that I could do and you never know what you can really do until it's handed to you in front of you and you have to deal with it. So that was really really awesome. After July I moved and that was a whole like whoever created moving whoever invented that I would not wish that upon my worst enemy and you never know truly how many things you have until it's time to pack up all your stuff because wow and it's not even personal things that I have it's the makeup I have so much makeup oh my goodness so anyway I moved at the end of July 
came back from Chicago, had to pack up the entire apartment, Chris and I. We weren't like settled, like we were moved and our stuff was still in boxes for a few months, for like maybe three months you could say, due to some other things. So it was really hard and I was still working, so it's really hard to just create and be creative and keep pushing out content when you're not like settled and in your own space i fell off of a routine that i loved so much i'd wake up in the morning go work out but i didn't have a gym and my stuff were still in boxes and it was just like it was just a really weird time it was just a really 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 weird time i'm gonna take the tres luces intenso liner in the shade fuerte which is black and i'm just gonna put this on my lower lash line god i feel like so much has happened it's hard for me to like Stay on the timeline like I want to jump around and tell you like bits and pieces I also don't want this video to be too 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 long so we basically moved into a house and I'm so 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 grateful and so thankful that we have this opportunity to be living in a home now but the house wasn't ready when my lease was up for the apartment so it just got really crazy so after we moved I was able to stay with a family member for those three months for the house to be done and you know I was like filming in their formal dining room like with my lights and my cameras and everything was there but like I couldn't fully unpack all my stuff yet because I wasn't staying in that house so it was just it was just a hectic time and I felt like I was kind of getting stuck in a rut almost like not I'm not gonna say depression because I was not depressed but I was just like unsettled for so long and out of my routine for so long and still like working just as hard as I was working it just like chaos it was just chaotic but anyway we are still there's some final touches to be done in the house and some like final touches to be done in the studio and around the house and everything but i'm just like i'm feeling so much more better so now i'll be taking the mickey and friends morphe palette how cute is this this palette actually has a lot of colors in it and i was like dying to like do something colorful but also i was like you know what play it low key so i'm gonna take the shade creative collision it's a beautiful bronze shade that has like gold glitter reflex so i'm just gonna go ahead and place this right on the lid and let me tell you thank off for press-ons because I have not had time to get my nails done do them long because moving literally breaks all your nails so the eyes are pretty much done and I love where this is I think that like soft green is a perfect pop of color for this like very neutral glam I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara eyeliner and lashes off camera but for lashes today I am using the Tati lashes in the style TL3 baby so I'm gonna get this together and I'll be right back so we can keep chit chatting listen when i tell you the eyelashes literally just like oh it's the icing on top of the cake it's not the last step it could be your last step but it really just does it for me and i'm so happy with the way everything is looking right now i'm hungry i am so hungry i'll be taking this baked blush from milani cosmetics in the shade coco felicita um it's a gorgeous shade i'm gonna put that right on the apples of the cheeks now this is definitely a shade i'm gonna have to be using and reaching for more often because it is absolutely stunning i feel like it's hard to talk and like do makeup at the same time because i want to talk about my application but i also want to talk about what i came here to talk about yo like so much has happened i'm like losing track so after i moved i was not settled for about three months but in the mix of that i moved in july but in september i flew out to la to do something huge with boxycharm I, I don't think i can really talk too much in depth about it because it's not out yet it hasn't been released but i was like one out of three one out of three no one out of four four people i was one out of four people that were selected to be a part of this and i'm just so grateful and honored and i'm just like i cannot wait until it comes out so i can tell you guys and tell everyone about it and like two weeks later I had another shoot with BoxyCharm but it was here in Miami instead of LA and that was really awesome too so I just to be honest I've been really 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 blessed with some really great opportunities in my life but I've just been unsettled for so long that I'm just like I cannot wait to get back to a sense of normalcy I'm over here talking we're not and we're not doing it but see I'm telling you it's hard I'm gonna be taking a highlighter and this is from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics I will say I went into this very open-minded. This is in the shade Exposure, but I've been using this for the past like month and a half, and I really, really do love the finish and everything. So I just place this right on the apples, right on the top. Beautiful. We're getting like beautiful, fresh out the oven, baked, glazed donut vibes. I think I kind of downplayed how much work it really took doing that Ulta Beauty campaign. 
I know I'm backtracking here, but I literally had to create scripts from scratch. I've never done that before. Um, I had to create the scripts, create the looks, and went back and forth with the team waiting on approvals, updating scripts. Um, then when I actually got in Chicago and got on set, I was literally directing the talent through the entire video, telling them what to do, position your end here, kind of like product showcasing, drop, like their actions, their emotions throughout the application. Like I would even step in sometimes to help with application, help with a wing liner, help with mascara that got clumped up. Like I was doing, I was doing everything. Also, while everything was happening, I was still doing and creating content for other brands. Like I was still working with ColourPop, working with Sigma, working with Milani. Like I'm still doing so much. I guess I'm just proud of myself for taking on everything that came at me and and still standing sane, you know? I, she still got all her marbles, mostly. <laughs> Are we appreciating where this is right now? It feels so good to just be here, doing my makeup, talking to you guys. I'm getting settled into my new studio. It is a smaller studio space, so I'm still like making adjustments and everything, but I plan to do maybe a studio tour soon. This is the lip bar, lip liner in the shade Straight Living. It's a gorgeous brown shade. With also just being so busy in life, I feel like it made me not as consistent with my posting on Instagram. Like I was creating a lot less content for myself to use and really just creating content for brands to use. I couldn't use the content until they had posted and I create stuff for launches. I'll be taking a matte lipstick from Milani and it's in the shade Tease. It's a gorgeous nude shade, much lighter than the lip liner that I used, but still in that nude family. We're looking so good. I'm taking a lip gloss and it's called Literally and this is from Kylie Cosmetics. I've actually never used anything from Kylie Cosmetics before. This is like, I recently received PR, recently meaning like a month and a half ago. I'm just getting to it now, okay? I wanted to try a gloss and I'm excited to see. This is like a nude and it's literally perfect. Literally, huh? That's the name of the shade. But it is like such a cute color. So this is the completed look. Love, love, love where we are. It felt so good to just sit down and talk to you guys and give you kind of like a life update. I feel like in short, I covered just a little bit of everything that has kind of been going on and has been happening. But now that I am getting settled, I feel like I'll be coming back on more of a consistent track, you feel me? So I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know it wasn't like your typical tutorial, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you like today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to drop some comments down below. What would you like to see from me next? I feel like I've missed so many launches that it's almost too late for me to do like reviews on them because they launched like a month and a half ago so drop some comments down below and maybe things that you want to see me do you know if you're not following me yet on Instagram go ahead and click the link down below in my description box I have all of my social media platforms linked down below but I want to thank you guys so much for joining me I know it's been a hot minute and I'll see you beautiful and amazing people in my next video bye you guys